Hey guys, welcome to Unit 4. Let's go ahead and get started talking about Romanticism. So the literary movement known as Romanticism developed in reaction to many social influences. The unrest of the French Revolution, the economic excesses of the Industrial Revolution, and the widespread poverty and oppression of workers. A time of revolution. During the American Revolution and later the French Revolution, George III ruled Britain. He was not a very capable king and many blamed the loss of the American colonies chiefly on his inflexible attitude toward the colonists. In 1788, the year before the French Revolution began, George III suffered a major attack of mental illness. In 1811, he was declared permanently insane. His son, George, ruled as Prince Regent until the King's death in 1820. Initially, many British citizens, including most of the early Romantic writers and poets, felt sympathy for the French Revolution and its ideals of liberty, equality, and brotherhood. The Romantics saw the Revolution as a turning point in human history, a move toward an ideal civilized society in which those who had previously struggled under oppression would find relief. When the revolution turned radical and violent, however, British sympathy dissipated and the Romantics turned elsewhere for inspiration. During the Reign of Terror, radical revolutionaries persecuted and massacred thousands of French aristocrats and middle class citizens. The British upper and middle classes were all too aware that England's lower classes faced many of the same social ills as the French lower classes. The British ruling classes were afraid that any efforts at reform could lead to anarchy as it had in France. As a result, British leaders grew more conservative, suppressing reform and outlawing writing or speech that was critical of the government. war with France. In 1793, Britain entered into a war with France that would last for more than 25 years. It was during this conflict that General Napoleon Bonaparte took control of France's government, made himself emperor, and then proceeded to conquer much of continental Europe. Britain was continually threatened with invasion until the British fleet destroyed the French Navy in 1805. After that, Britain was able to loosen Napoleon's hold on Europe and Napoleon was finally defeated at Waterloo in 1815. The Downside of Industry During this period, England was an industrial as well as an agricultural country. The Industrial Revolution and improvements in farming brought increased prosperity to the middle and upper classes, but brought degrading poverty to the families employed in the factories and mills. Living and working conditions were appalling. There were no laws to regulate work safety, hours, wages, or child labor. At the time, Britain operated under the doctrine of laissez-faire economics, which means that an economy works best without government intervention. Shortly after George III's son took control as regent, an economic depression resulted in the loss of many factory jobs. Advances in technology caused even more job losses as fewer workers were needed to run textile mills. In the ensuing Luddite riots, unemployed mill workers rioted, smashing the machines they blamed for taking their jobs. Frightened by the violence, Parliament, instead of working to solve the root causes of the violence, passed laws that made the rioters' actions punishable by death. Labor unions were illegal and workers had little power in Parliament. Some workers organized anyway, but were quickly put down by the government. 
the Romantics. Romantic writers often sympathized with the oppressed lower classes and wrote about their plight. Lord Byron, a romantic poet and a member of parliament, openly expressed his sympathy for the poor to other members of the British government. In fact, he was one of only three members of parliament to vote against the law punishing the Luddite rioters with death. Such political efforts, however, yielded few results. Many of the Romantic writers reacted to the harsh realities of industrialization by turning to nature for truth and beauty. They revolted against the order, propriety, and traditionalism of the Age of Reason and rejected the classical tradition that venerated the achievements of ancient Greece and Rome. The Romantics were influenced by the same forces that gave rise to the American and French revolutions and by the agitation for political, social, and economic change taking place in their own country. For the Romantics, emotion became more important than reason. Thus, they preferred styles of writing that allowed self-expression like lyric poetry which came to dominate English literature during this time. So let's take a peek at the timeline from 1780 to 1820 for those who prefer the visual. In 1789, the French Revolution begins. 1793, the French Revolution gives way to the reign of terror and war begins between Britain and France. 1794, William Blake publishes Songs of Innocence and Songs of Experience. 1804, Napoleon crowns himself Emperor of France. 1805, the British fleet defeats the French Navy at the Battle of Trafalgar. 1811, George III is declared insane. His son is named Regent. 1815, Napoleon is defeated at Waterloo. 1818, Mary Shelley anonymously publishes Frankenstein. In 1820, the regency ends when George III dies and his son becomes king.